in response to a viewer comment this is an updated version of an earlier video this is my sensor empire gear changer and if you ignore these oversized jockey wheels it's the same as any other gear changer out there it has four adjustments on it there's a barrel adjuster here that effectively changes the length of the gear cable on the back there are two screws which are limit screws and they affect how far the cage will move in and out so the lower one usually controls how far this will go in towards the center of the wheel and the upper one usually affects the upper gear which is how far this will travel out from the center of the wheel in addition there's another screw here which is often called a b screw and that's going to be the focus of this particular video just for comparison, here's my Shimano Sora rear gear changer and it has the same adjusters on it, a barrel adjuster, two limit screws and here is the B screw adjuster. Okay, we're now looking at the gear changer on the bike and I'll zoom in now. The first and major function of this B screw is to change the distance between this upper jockey wheel and the cassette so if I tighten this B screw up, you'll notice that the gear changer rotates around this main pivot. And what that does is it enables this jockey wheel to come down lower and therefore create a bigger gap between the jockey wheel and the cassette sprocket. Shimano's recommendation is that this jockey wheel should be as close as possible without touching to the cassette sprocket. However, I find in practice having a three to five millimeter gap there is beneficial. Having said that, if the gap is too big, that can also be detrimental to the gear change quality. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change through the gears, checking the clearance between the jockey wheel and the cassette. Now I've changed down into the lowest gear, that is the largest sprocket, and you can see that there's a fair gap between this cassette sprocket, which is a 28 tooth on this bike, and the jockey wheel on the gear changer. That's probably bigger than I'd want it to be. However, because this is only a 28 tooth sprocket and the gear changer is designed to take up to a 32 tooth sprocket, there's going to be a bit of a gap in there. Now that will deteriorate the gear changing a little bit, but not very much. So now that B screw is set up so that I get a decent amount of clearance on the smallest sprocket of the cassette and more than adequate clearance on the largest sprocket on the cassette. So that's the main function. However, there is a secondary effect. When you tighten this B screw up, that forces the whole gear changer backwards and it puts a bit of extra tension into the chain. Now that can be useful, for instance, if your chain is slapping on your chain stay however that is a secondary effect and although it can be useful in terms of putting more tension into the chain you'll probably be better off taking a few links out of the chain anyway that's what you can do with the b screw if you found this video useful please give it a thumbs up because that tells youtube that you found it useful and then it may recommend it to other potential viewers finally if you want to subscribe to my channel, click on the 5 minute velo roundel now. From me, for now, it's goodbye.